Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Karen and this is Southern Ketovore. Uh, yeah, sorry for the absence. That's totally not on purpose. So what happened was uh, last weekend I did a full meal prep video uh, and never uploaded it. So I am at the grocery store. It is Sunday morning and I'm going to pick up a few things and do some meal prep stuff today. So I'm actually going to combine the two and give y'all a little bit longer um, meal prep video that will include some of the things that I made last weekend as well as some of the things that I'm going to make today for this upcoming week uh, to kind of be prepared for the holidays before they get here. So what I'm prepping is only going to be for uh, today, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, um, just to get me through work because it will be some, some long hours this week working in a grocery store uh, with Sadly, some pretty ungrateful people. Um, and yeah, so that's what we're working on. So it'll be a little smaller prep since it's just to get through the first few days because frankly, uh, at Thanksgiving, we're going to have lots of meat, uh, lots of smoked turkey and smoked ham. And so I probably won't have to make anything for a few days after Thanksgiving. So baby meal prep for Monday through Wednesday. And I will also include some stuff from last weekend. So, yeah, that's about it. So let's do it. I'm going to run into the grocery store. I can't film in there because they have lots of overhead music. Uh, but I will show you anything that I pick up when we get back home. All right. See you in a bit. Whew. Okay. It's chilly. Like, <laughs> I think the high today is supposed to be like 54, but it's super overcast. So it has not warmed up even above 50 yet. So it is, it is chilly. Uh, my grocery store that is right down the street from my house is a madhouse, even though it is early in the morning and, uh, yeah, they've got just all sorts of extra staff and floats of product. And as someone who works in a grocery store, I understand and feel their pain. <laughs> so, uh, it was a little bit chaotic. I really did not pick up, um, a ton of stuff. Uh, so, I will go over the things really quickly that I did pick up uh, as far as uh, sale items. So my car's making some noises. All right. So I got a flat of store brand large eggs. So there are 30 in that. The price did go up this week. So it was $7.39. Uh, that was the cheapest bet that they had. And considering I usually go through a flat a week, that's what I get. Uh, additionally, I got a bunch of butter last week, so I did not have to get that. But I did get a pack of Frigo string cheese um, since my daughter is out of school for the week for the holidays. Uh, that's just a nice little snack to have on hand at the house. Those were on sale two for eight. So I got one. So four bucks for that as opposed to $5.99 that that's gone up to, which is just crazy. Um, I did not get anything from the meat department because my freezer is full. I've got tons of ground chuck and boneless, skinless chicken breasts and chicken wings in my freezer. So I'm going to be thawing some of that today to prep for the week. Um, I did get some veggies though. They had asparagus for $1.99 a pound. So I got two bundles of asparagus uh, that I'm going to roast in the oven. And then I also got some just canned, no salt added green beans. Um, they are a little carbier than some of the other green veggies, but I like them. Everybody in the house likes them. Uh, they were BOGOs. So instead of um, the normal $1.25 a can, uh, you know, obviously BOGO. So I got like six cans of those. Um, yeah. So other than that, I got bottled water and a bunch of store brand diet soda for the family. <laughs> so it was a really quick trip. Um, nothing too crazy. And yeah. So that's, that's what's happening there. I'm going to head home, start prepping some stuff for the next couple of days, and I will film that for you guys as well. Also, just wanted to remind everybody that I do have a completely private Facebook group now over uh, on the Facebook Interworlds. Uh, it's called Southern Ketovore, a keto, ketovore, and carnivore support group. Um it's growing and I love the involvement. Everybody in there, uh, one of the questions is, do you agree not to be a butthead? I don't care where you are on the spectrum, okay? If you are dirty keto, lazy keto, strict keto, ketovore, carnivore, relaxed carnivore, strict carnivore, lion diet, don't care. We're all in this together. And all of those are on that spectrum of a proper human diet. 
So you are welcome to join. I will include the link to that in the description below if you guys would like to join us over there. So let's go ahead. I'm going to get all of my uh, meal prepping together from this past weekend and what's to come today. And yeah, let's crush this week, guys. Get ready for the holiday. Okay. Yeah, let's go. All right. Okay. First thing on the list, hard boiled eggs. So I have a cup of water in the bottom, used my trivet, and I have I think, 14 eggs piled up in here. Uh, you can honestly, they don't have to be in a single layer. You can kind of pile them up a little bit. So got that all set. I'm just going to put my lid on, which I can't do left-handed. I'm going to switch this to ceiling. And this is in my laundry room, so you're here in my washer and dryer running. All right. Now the way that I set this, I hit steam. I have it set for five minutes. I do take off of the uh, keep warm function. And once this reaches pressure, it will go for five minutes on high pressure on, on the steam function. You can also just do this on high pressure. Um, and then once it does the full five minutes, I let it rest for five minutes and then release any additional pressure and then put these guys in an ice bath for five minutes and the skin, the, the peel basically just like jumps off. So we'll show you that when we're at that point. Okay, welcome to my brown butter bite voiceover. So I will include uh, the link below for my full video on how to do this, but I decided to do this with the Land Lakes Extra Creamy. It happened to be on sale this week. It's a little higher butter fat. I always use the salted butter for this. Some folks prefer to do the regular sweet cream butter. I tend to do this on six, uh, you know, a little above medium and just have to kind of watch it closely. I always add cinnamon. Sweetener obviously is optional. Um, cinnamon is optional, but I just really like the way cinnamon goes in there. You can see there's a lot of foam happening. Um, this, at this point, we're getting ready to get to that like really violent poppy type of bubbling, which you'll see in the next little clip. This is where we're getting rid of all of the moisture in the bottom. And then it eventually dies down into these really small kind of tight bubbles. And as you sit, you will start to see like a dark caramelly color start to rise up from the center. And that's how you know you're getting to that brown butter point. And so I, I kind of like to push mine a little bit <laughs> and I keep stirring and keep stirring and watching it uh, before I remove it from the heat. So once I get to the brown butter point that I like, I really like to add cinnamon. That's my first thing that I do. So as you can see, I've already added cinnamon here. And I am going to add one tablespoon of pumpkin praline pie skinny syrup. When you add that, it does this crazy bubbling for a second and helps remove the moisture from the sweetener. So it kind of just leaves the sweet flavor without leaving what will kind of crystallize in the bites. And I take that off the heat and then I will be making one tablespoon bites with that. And now we go sleep in the freezer until we're solid. Yummy, yummy. Perfect, perfect. All right, a couple of them cracked. They no thing. So I'm gonna take these now and put them in the ice bath for about five minutes before I try and peel them. Five minutes. See you in a bit. Hard boiled eggs, peeled, ready. Going in the fridge. Okay, time to run up some sausage to make some sausage, egg and cheese egg cups. This has been in my freezer for a few months, <laughs> but uh, carb count is zero. The ingredients, there is sugar in there, but it's pretty far down. I ain't worried about it. So I'm gonna brown this up and crumble it so that I can put it in the little uh, egg cups. I'll show you what those look like when we're done. Okay, egg cup time. I have my muffin tin. Everything is buttered. Got some sausage browned up. Basically, I put uh, about a tablespoon of this Mexican shredded cheese in the bottom of each of the little cups. And then I'm gonna fill everything with my eggs. So I have eight eggs, 
pinch of kosher salt. I'm using some coarse ground black pepper in here as well. Also gonna use a little bit of onion powder and then a little bit of garlic powder. And then in addition, not everybody, you don't have to use it, but I like the texture it provides. I do about two tablespoons of heavy cream. You can measure if you're pickier and get everything mixed up. Now in my cups, I have that tablespoon of cheese first and then a little small spoonful of the browned up sausage into each one. I'm going to get the eggs all mixed up and ready. And I like to use this container that's got the square edge because it makes it a little easier to pour. And then basically we just try and get these as evenly distributed as possible. I did have to go back in with like a little spoon and try and make them a little bit even because they were kind of wonky uh, as I went through. But I was able to get them all evened out. And then I go back through with that shredded cheese. And again, we're just going to do a little bit on top of each one. Um, this, you know, I, I would say maybe about a tablespoon on each one, just a, a little bit for kind of a little pop of color as they brown up. So there we go. Egg bites. Okay. So hard boiled eggs are done. Butter bites are done. The little sausage, egg and cheese egg cups are in the oven cooking now. So now I have to prep, prep for, uh, some cheesy beef stuffed peppers. Um, I got some reduced bell peppers the other day that are kind of like getting a little soft. So I figured that that would be perfect uh, to do for stuffed peppers. So I'm going to do some ground beef with lots of seasonings and some cheese and some cream cheese in there to make them super rich and savory. Uh, and then I will half the peppers and stuff them and bake them when the egg cups come out. Um, I may actually prep some without baking them to where all we have to do is whatever night this week we decide to eat them. We can just stick them on a cookie sheet with a little bit of cheese on top and bake them then. So I might do that. I'll keep you posted and you'll see them. All right. Thanks for tuning in. All right. So I have thawed two of these one pound packs of ground chuck. I freeze these guys flat so that they thaw really, really easy in a bowl of water. I'm just gonna throw these in my pan on high, brown them up a little bit with some seasonings. Today I'm doing some roasted garlic salt, onion powder and garlic powder, and I'm gonna get them all seasoned up, drain them, and get them ready for stuffed peppers. All right, time to go crazy with the seasonings. Roasted garlic salt. <laughs> in the bottom. Okay. Plenty, 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 plenty. Okay. Onion powder. Lots. Yes, I know there are carbs in onion powder and garlic powder. I don't care. All right, garlic powder. All right. I'm going to brown up. Let it hang out. I'll show you when it's done and drained. Aren't they pretty? So pretty. These are called the little hot peppers. They really just taste like regular orange or red bell peppers. Um, but as you can see, like they're a little bit wrinkled, so a little bit softer, but you know, not great, but still good. So we're gonna have these, gut them, and get them ready for this stuff when it's all done. All right, peppers are halved and ready. Getting ready to drain this. Dogs are going bonkers. Hi! Yeah, okay. Okay, so I have some cream cheese. I put about half a block in here with the ground beef after I drained it. Um, I'm also going to take this entire block of feta and crumble it in there as well. You guys have no idea how wonderful feta is when it like cooks down into ground beef. I'm telling you so 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 good and here i am a couple of days later honestly doing this voiceover and i've eaten a lot of this ground beef just by itself just warmed up uh in a little bowl it's so so good with all the feta in there so here is what we're looking at after it cooks all down and kind of coats everything and we're just going to scoop this and stuff it into the peppers as you can see got a couple of them in a little dish 
top them with a little sprinkle of mozzarella on each one. Um, you know, maybe a couple of tablespoons of, uh, of mozzarella on each one before I put them in the oven and ended up putting them in right next to my egg cups as I go to pull those out so you can kind of see what those guys are going to look like. They are mm. so pretty and uh, they have been absolutely delicious. But you see that little bit of golden brown on the top from all of the cheese. And here we have tons of pepper and peppers and ground beef for later meals this week. So you guys, trying to like hold a camera with one hand and pop things out of pants with the other. I struggled, but you know what? It isn't always easy. So, <laughs> but here we go. You can kind of see these nice little muffins and they've really held their shape. They didn't shrink back down too much because of having that sausage. So the sausage is there in the middle, nice little bit of cheese on the top and the texture is outstanding. So yummy. And finished product on those peppers, guys. So good. I ended up eating these with my hands. They're so yummy, y'all. I've been having these every day this week. So, so good. All right, here's what we need. We need a pan that has a lid, okay? And then we need one pound of ground beef or ground pork or ground whatever meat you enjoy. I, it only calls for one, but I like to have two of these bags of the classic coleslaw mix. You can use coconut aminos if you prefer, but since it's just a couple of tablespoons for the whole thing, I'm using soy sauce. I use a ton of ground ginger, garlic powder, onion powder, and some kosher salt. Uh, in addition, when it's all said and done, I like to top it with yum yum sauce uh, and sriracha if you want it spicy. Red pepper flake is a good addition too, but it's hot. So, all right, we're gonna get started. Okay guys. So I've got my pan on high heat, getting warmed up, and I'm going to go ahead and just pile my ground beef in. And this is, again, it's a one pound pack of just regular ground chuck. You can use whatever kind that you like. I like chuck the best, and it's what I usually can find on sale. And what I normally stock my freezer with. So. We are going to just let this brown up and get it going. I'm going to find my spatula, wherever that is. All right. And I'm going to get it all browned up and then add some seasonings. And so I'll skip ahead so that you don't have to watch, you know, this boring part. Okay, so everything's browned up. And I also drained a little bit of the fat. So I use very, very little kosher salt on this, uh, simply because the soy sauce is salty, so we don't need too much. We use pretty heavy handed on the uh, onion, this is minced onion that I'm adding. Thought it was onion powder, but it's not. Alright, and then we're going to use a good bit of garlic powder, like a good bit, guys. But my biggest addition in here is ground ginger, so much so that I take the lid off so that I can dump it in more freely. But I love to add tons of ginger. Right. This smells so good. The ginger is the strongest. Now, when I'm making this for everybody else to eat too, I back off a little bit on the ginger just because they're not as big of fans as me. So, alright. Okay, so now I've got this set to medium. And here's what we're going to do. I'm going to add one of my bags of the coleslaw mix. Now, you do want a pan that's tall enough uh, that it can handle uh, the amount, you know, the volume that you're putting in. Alright. And I'm going to go ahead and add in a little bit of soy sauce. So I'm going to put a little bit in, probably about two tablespoons. Remember, it's just dribbles when you put it in there, so it's not like a whole, whole ton. Okay. And I'm going to kind of incorporate these two a little bit before I put the lid on. I'm going to let it steam for a second, and then I'm going to add my second bag. All right. 
so we'll get that kind of incorporated. And I'm gonna throw that lid on and we're gonna give it a couple of minutes with the lid on to let it steam. All right, so I let this steam down a little bit and now I'm kind of creating a little bit of a well in the center. I'm gonna add my second bag of coleslaw mix. Throw this in just like that. I'm gonna add another few drizzles of soy sauce. So yeah, it looks like from the bottle total, we've got maybe three tablespoons that are gone, so not too much at all. Now to help this steam a little bit more, I'm adding about a quarter cup of water. And lid. And we're going to let this cook down until all of that coleslaw mix starts to get a little bit more tender. Alright guys, and this is pretty much how we end up here. You can cook it a little longer if you want your cabbage more tender. Um, you also can omit one of the bags and have it a little bit meatier with a little less bulk. Um, but, you know, I like cabbage. This is one of my few veggies that I really still incorporate a good bit. Um, and surprisingly, I tolerate it really, really well. Um, but yeah, this is basically where it stops. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it off and let it cool so that I can pack it up. But I just wanted to show you what I normally top it with. So typically, the Mikado Yum Yum sauce is my go-to for topping it. Um, I will say that yes, it does have um, soybean oil in it because it is made from, you know, it starts with mayonnaise. Um, so this is something, you know, obviously it's up to you. There are a few recipes where you can make your own. Um, Keto Ginger has an awesome one, uh, so check that out if you want to use one that's not store made that might not have those ingredients. Um, but also, just traditional sriracha, um, you, any brand, they all taste identical to me. So, yeah, that's the plan. That's going to be my uh, to-go lunch for the week. Maybe we're a little Start to finish was about 15 minutes total, so you kind of can't beat that. All right. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in today. Um, <laughs> I really anticipated cooking some more things um, for this upcoming week. But once I realized that I had my coleslaw mix and could make some egg roll in a bowl, I realized that that was going to be really the only thing I prepped just as something that I can either take to work for lunches or have uh, just ready when I get home in the evenings from work because it's going to be a hectic, hectic week with Thanksgiving coming up Thursday. Um, I'm working Monday through Friday this week, so <laughs> each day is going to be a little hectic, um, but definitely Monday through Wednesday. So I may end up fasting those days until dinner time, but either way, I just didn't see the need to um, prepare a whole bunch of different things. So uh, egg roll in a bowl is going to be my primary meal prep for the week. Um, other than that, in the mornings, what I'll probably do is either have bulletproof coffee on my way to work um, or do like some scrambled eggs or something uh, before I go to work, which obviously is not yummy prepared ahead of time. So uh, that's that's my plan. So uh, that's this upcoming week. And I guess that's about it. Um, but I appreciate you guys tuning in and being patient with me since it's been a couple of weeks since I uploaded anything. Um, like I said, I put together the whole first part of this video and those meal prep things. I got together last week and I never uploaded. So, you know, uh, life be life and sometimes, I guess. Um, but anyway, here we go. Starting into Thanksgiving week. I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday if you celebrate. Um, and uh, if you work in retail, <laughs> best of luck to you uh, this week and this weekend with all of the holiday shopping kicking off on Friday. Um, please remember, if you are going out and about, if you go to a grocery store, please be kind to the staff. Uh, we don't set the prices and, you know, we, we just work there. Please don't be mean. <laughs> Same goes if you go to any other retailer, uh, do Black Friday shop or do any of that kind of stuff. Please be nice to people. Please, please return your carts to the cart corral. Just do the nice thing. I mean, come on. 
please, please, just this season. Uh, anyway, so that is it. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday. Stay strong. If your plan is to stay strong, um, if you are, are planning some intentional, um, you know, Thanksgiving treats or anything, I support you in your decisions. You guys are all grown up, so um, make the best choices that you can. We're having a keto Thanksgiving, um, and I'm going to film everything that we have. Um, there will be some non-keto things that are going to be really hard to resist, um, but the plan is to stay keto through Thanksgiving. Um, luckily, several members of the family are keto, so it's pretty easy to kind of coordinate having plenty of options available. So that's the plan. And I will film that and um, have that available to you guys later in the week also. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Sorry I've been MIA. Um, like I said, life be life. And so I will see you guys soon. And until then, have a wonderful time, wonderful day, wonderful week, all the things. Love you, mean it.